Well, there is something unique about this Super Bowl Sunday in the district. It's something that hasn't happened in decades. ABC 7's Ross Plater joins us live from Northwest. And Ross, we're talking about liquor stores that are open for business on a Sunday. Yeah, and it's very exciting for folks who live in this DuPont Circle neighborhood. They're going to be open for just about another 20 minutes or so. They are closing at 7 o'clock tonight for this initial opening on Sunday. But actually, when you think about it all, it is a pretty big deal. It's the first time they've been able to be open on a Sunday since they opened this store in 1935. Yes, this is D.C. Yes, this is a liquor store. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. It is open on Sunday. Uh, I'm pleased with it. I think it makes sense. You can do it in other states, so why not D.C.? It's a good thing. People be able to celebrate the game, you know, and uh, basically uh, get their drink on. It's the first time in nearly 80 years the city's liquor stores have been allowed to open on Sunday. The D.C. City Council approved it last December. Cairo liquor owner Howie Aronson says he made sure to be one of the first out the gate when the Alcohol Control Board began accepting applications for extended licenses last week. But he wasn't sure the word would get out to his customers. We really didn't have enough time. I was only approved for my license on Thursday of this past week. Still, his DuPont Circle neighbors lined up to get geared up for their Super Bowl parties. New Orleans beer to celebrate where they're hosting the Super Bowl. Stay neutral. I'm picking out a wine for somebody that I'm going to their house. I'm like, oh, I need to pick a good one. Most customers told us they were happy about the convenience. No more trips to Maryland and Virginia on Sundays. I think it brings D.C. in line with a lot of other cities across the country, and I think it's well overdue, and um, uh, I think it just makes life easier. And the city hopes it will keep some of that tax revenue here, expected to be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now we're told there are other liquor stores in this city that are in the pipeline in terms of paperwork who want to open on Sundays as well. But when this idea first came up, some of the owners said they didn't really want to make their workers come in on their only day off. So we'll see how it all shakes out. We are live in Northwest D.C. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News. First time in 80 years. Not bad, Ross. Thank you. Well, President Barack Obama got a chance to weigh in on some issues during a pre-Super Bowl.